movie review. This is the 1960 movie Wild River, screened by, by Paul Osborne, based on a novel Mud on the Stars by William Bradford Hull, and a second novel Dunbar's Cove by Borden Deal. The movie is produced and directed by Elia Kazan, and it stars in the lead role. Montgomery Crift stars as Chuck Glover. Lee Remick is Carol Baldwin. Lee's uh, grandmother, played by Joe Van Fleet, is El Ella Garth. Uh, Hank Bailey plays, uh, sorry, Albert Salmi plays Hank Bailey. And uh, another, a few more members of the Garth family. Uh, James Westerfield plays Carl Garth. Big Jeff Best plays Joe John Garth. And uh, other significant uh, supporting actors, Robert Earl Jones as Ben. And uh, J.C. Flipping plays Hamilton Garth. I think that probably about covers them all. The movie is set in 1930s in Tennessee in the southern state of America. Uh, early 1930s, and the movie focuses really on the social and economic upheaval in in, in a, the town uh, as a consequence of the increasing uh, level of flooding uh, in the area, which has provoked uh, uh, the government to build a dam. Now, the dam will have a significant impact on the community and uh, certain parts uh, which were at risk of excessive flooding are going to be helped considerably. However, on the other hand, there are some communities that have been forced by the government uh, to give up their land on a compulsory purchase order because at the impact of the dam is going to lead to those areas to be uh, flooded uh, throughout the year and they'll be underwater uh, as such. Now, um, the Thames Valley Authority, which is a, a sort of uh, uh, government uh, uh, organisation uh, who been uh, given authority to conduct the purchase of all the land and to uh, basically prepare the lands that will be flooded uh, in advance by cutting down um, trees and obviously getting uh, residents out. They send down uh, one Chuck um, Glover, played by Crift, and the, there's one pressing issue, and it concerns uh, an 80-year-old woman, Ella Garth, who lives on a, a, an island with members of her family and a significant uh, Negro population who uh, are almost destitute. Uh, some of them help out uh, uh, with menial tours, to, uh, chores, but basically uh, are poverty stricken but have been in, uh, able to reside there uh, the land being owned by Ella. Chuck's uh, task is to persuade Ella who has resisted up until now persuade Ella to uh, give up the land and move to what the government consider to be more suitable premises so that they can then proceed with the demolition of the property and the surrounding trees. So early on we meet Chuck and he becomes uh, fully up on all the issues regarding to Ella and his staff are somewhat cynical that he is going to be able to reverse her cantankerous stance uh, in terms of refusing to leave. However, he appears confident, but um, he's soon faced with some of the realities uh, of living in this part of the world. Uh, specifically, um, uh, the employment of Negroes ha hasn't taken place to speed up 
the clearing of the land and he faces uh, his first problem that uh, if he were to uh, employ Negroes, the whites who are working uh, on behalf of the government would walk off. And uh, this problem comes back a little later in the f film. His first venture uh, to the island via uh, a sort of um, a transit point, a, tra a crossing, uh, proves fruitless and he ends up uh, getting thrown in the river by one of Ella's uh, 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 family, uh, Joe Joe John Garth, uh, who, uh, I, in response to his suggestion that his mother might be a little bit uh, lacking in the grey matter, uh, Joe John dumps him in the river. Um, what we then find is how uh, he changes his tact and starts to work on the other members to try and change their uh, passionate desire to remain with Ella uh, under all circumstances. He meets her grand granddaughter Carol who uh, is a widow and has two children and is extremely loyal to her grandmother but uh, Chuck takes a shine to her and his uh, his persuasive uh, uh, nature starts to uh, bring Carol round to the possibility that it may be wise to vacate the island. He also starts to discuss the benefits of not being there anymore with the Negro population. Uh, and he is quite persuasive, uh, to say the least. Uh, in opening their eyes. And I, I, I wanted to now just make some general points about how this movie uh, touched me tremendously the first time I watched it. And the second time, the other day, it really did uh, have a, a huge impact on me. Firstly, Kazan, he, 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 he tackles the politics uh, head on in the movie. We get a very uh, a, a strong picture of the racism in the area. We also uh, uh, are confronted with the, the notion of uh, government imposing itself on the will of the people, ir irrespective of how they view their own property. And this idea of uh, being better uh, for you your life will be improved, is, is tackled head-on, really, and we're made, to, we're made aware of the, the fact that this isn't always true. Uh, Ella is a very proud, a very stubborn uh, old woman, but she uh, is able to uh, convey the, the value that she's had throughout her life of living on this piece of land without electricity and the uh, community uh, feel and she draws attention uh, when she takes a walk with Chunk later on to the fact that her husband and her relatives are all buried in plots on the land and that uh, clearly is going to be taken away as well. And so we, we, we look at the issue of uh, basic human rights, uh, progress, the old sort of cultures, the old customs, and also the issue of um, individual experiences in life. And what value do we place on these? Um, alongside this, there's a romantic drama which develops between Chuck and Carol which exposes clearly the feelings of both of them, uh, their ability or not to show their feelings, uh, their uncertainty of taking the, the step towards uh, being more intimate, and the fact that they've arrived at this point from completely different uh, paths in their life. And the, it questions whether, in fact, they could be a suitable match. And also it 
focuses on anxieties as well that they both have. Uh, Carol is pretty committed to uh, having a new relationships, having uh, lost her husband, and also is concerned for the benefits of her ch children of having a male, an uh, adult male around. And Cliff is obviously attracted to her, but is hesitant to take on board the responsibility and the fact that he's from the north and she's from the south. And their, uh, their focus, their cultural experiences differ radically. So against that backdrop, the film then proceeds uh, uh, along the road where uh, Chuck is determined to uh, persuade the old woman that uh, the government's uh, intentions are genuine and we follow this pattern as slowly he, he creates cracks in the uh, uh, Negro population who move off uh, the island. Then the granddaughter decides to move back to her old house as her uh, romantic attachment develops with Chuck. And we also witness uh, a very unsavoury uh, aspect of racism that's uh, uh, connected with the fact that uh, Chuck does employ Negroes and he does offer them a wage which is equal to the wages that were being paid to the whites. And this provokes a response from the redneck uh, business community who basically uh, uh, come and sort him out, so to speak. Um, and we all want us to remember that this was the 1930s. And uh, this then leads us to possibly a, a predictable, inevitable conclusion which uh, I'll let you uh, interpret yourself. But let's say it's not, a, it's not exactly a happy ending here. Uh, and we witness, uh, in some respects, the brutal way in which uh, the government, with the support of the law enforcement people, uh, get their way, uh, and at what costs. So overall, I found this movie a, a, a tremendous piece of work by Kazan. He, he has certainly been uh, one of the top directors uh, producing quality films throughout the 50s. And this one, although perhaps not as well known as some of the other, is absolutely superb. Uh, I'd like to note also that Lee Remick, in a very early role, is a completely engro engrossed in her southern uh, role and I believe that she was born in the southern states and she encapsulates the raw emotion uh, of what's taking place uh, for her, to her and her family and it's summed up in a later scene where she uh, confesses uh, that she loves Chuck uh, but she points out the complexities of the fact that they are different, they are emotionally different, and uh, she is concerned uh, that it's not going to work. Uh, and she draws out all her sort of trauma from her past and her purity, and her performance is five star. Cliff, on the other hand, uh, he always delivers a solid performance um, and I also was touched by in the romantic aspects of the film uh, he handled the hesitancy the uh, tense uh, un unwillingness to go in 100% uh, this was acted in a, a very strong fashion and his quality of an actor is is absolutely superb. And we uh, will be reviewing some more of his work down the road. So that's my uh, conclusion then. 
the fact that there were two uh, novels which led to the screenplay may have caused a, a slight uh, problem for the director, but he seemed to un undertake it very well. An excellent movie then. It was, it's Wild River. It was released in 1960. And I really do suggest you go and have a look at it.